Hey, what is going on guys? This is Jason with Jetton Aquatics. Thanks for hanging out with me again. So today we are doing part two of the tour of the Tropical Warehouse. Such an amazing, amazing place. So the guy that runs this thing, Ian, he is an awesome guy. First of all, just to allow me to come out here and film, I just can't thank him enough. And the way he is, he just absolutely loves this hobby and he wants to see the best for this hobby. And he loves the ability to give us to come out here and to, to film to help us just to, to build the hobby. Because to him, it's just more than just money. Uh, I want to take this shot out here. You guys can see this is like the uh, they, they buy up a bunch of uh, stuff from other places that have gone out of business. So they've got this yard that's absolutely full of all these old stands and aquariums and PVC pipe that are you know destined to be put up eventually into some type of expansion because you know you and I both love expansion. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, the 65.3% of you that watch my channel but don't subscribe, be sure and hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. All right, let's head on out there and check it out. Here's some uh, gold tiger datnoids. These guys are cool looking. They're looking like they don't like me at all. Some uh, silver scats. Man, the sun must have just came out outside because the humidity level in here jumped about a thousand percent. The sweat is going now. Here's a big mix of a Dumbo ear. And these are all male guppies. Man, some of those are beautiful. Here's some uh, spotted spotted puffers. I think these are some of the ones you got that are kept like in brackish water. I know he said one of these sections is uh, got some salt in it. It might be this one because there's some guppies and stuff over here also. Here's some orange glow Danios. I didn't realize they made the Danios in a glow color. I don't keep up with them so. Oh, well, that makes sense. Here's some red ones. And then we've even got some purple ones. And then here's a mixture. Oh, we've even got some green ones. We've got every color of the rainbow. Here's some purple Danios. We have definitely found the glow section now. Here's some uh, orange tetras, or orange glow tetras. Some uh, blue glow tetras. Here we got some uh, green glow tetras. These are uh, purple. Glow Tetras. I had no idea these things came in this many colors. And then here's some pink ones. Wow, the pink is pink. Wow. Man, look at all these little panda quarries. Lighting's pretty bad. Here we've got some uh, black ruby barbs. Here we've got some uh, red glass barbs. Here's one I haven't seen before called a Rahani barb. Those guys are cool if they sit still for a second. Back to the glow stuff again. Here's some orange glow tigers. Here's some uh, regular gold barbs. Here's some uh, smaller cherry barbs. Some of them don't quite have that striking color yet. Here's some uh, green glow barbs. 
seem like the barbs don't get quite as much color in them on the glows. It's more kind of a faint green. Here's some uh, regular green tiger barbs. Oh, I take that back on the. Uh, I take that back on the tiger barbs. Look at the red in those guys. Wow. Here's some more uh, tiger barbs. It says long fin, but they don't appear to be long fin to me. Maybe they just haven't grown out yet. Here's some uh, veil angels, some different colored ones. We've got some marbles, some blacks. Here we got some uh, bala sharks with some other like rainbow sharks or black red-tailed sharks mixed in. I assume they get some things that jump over because if you look at the top here, there's no tops on them. So the fish wants to jump left or right, he's going into another tank. No, left, right, or back, he's going to another tank. Forward, he's dying. Here's a giant school of clown loaches. These probably haven't been here too long because they they're missing a lot of color right now. So they're probably still in a freak out mode. Man, here is a slew of rainbow sharks. I don't know if it's gonna focus on that or not, but there is a jillion of those things trying their best to hide. Here's some uh, albino rainbow sharks. Funny how these guys aren't the least bit scared. I don't know if they've just been here longer or what it is. But they are all about getting on camera. Here's something kind of interesting. These are blue balloon black convicts. I had no idea they were ballooning convicts. Again, not one of my one of my favorite things, but interesting to look at. There's some really, really good looking Congo Tetras. Look at those big flowing fins. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Uh, here is a Goodyear, it's an Atropinus. This is another one of those fish that are on the endangered list. Or the cares list, actually. This is a uh, another live bear. This is one, I have a couple of Goodyears, but I don't, I don't have these. Here's some more of them. Wow, they get they get big for a goodyear. Looks kind of like a salmon when it's all full grown. Here is a, a liar tail uh, sailfin molly. That is a good looking fish right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here we got some uh, high fin platies. Mickey Mouse platies. Got some uh, red sword tails. With some random inler in there. Another fish jumper. Here's the uh, crabs I was talking about. And they've got all of this uh, defense mechanism to try to keep them from climbing out. Because these guys are escape artist. Some uh, marigold swords. Some uh, marble mollies. Some gold marble mollies. Some uh, red wag platties. Here are some good looking black angels. See these guys a little bit better. Something I've never heard of a Chopra Danio. Here's some uh, red Frontosa. 
I never heard of that. I guess, they, I guess it's just got a tiny bit of a shade of red to them. Here's something I never heard of. It's an Osa knife. I don't know, sort of kind of like a ghost knife. Pretty cool looking. Man, here is a bunch of tiny, tiny Fajaca puffers. I've never seen them so small. Look at those guys. I wonder how old those actually are. Cool, cool, cool. Some uh, electric blue rams. Guys are juveniles, not too big. But already got some beautiful coloring. Here are some uh, glass transparent knives. <laughs> the way those things swim is so wicked looking. The way they go front and back. Wild, wild, wild. All right, there is the end of part three of the Tropical Warehouse Tour. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I absolutely love this place, and these guys are so welcoming to allow me to come in here. I just can't tell you how thankful I am. I just can't not get enough of this place. So if you got any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. So thanks again, guys, and God bless.